just need to find the thevenin equivalent at the terminal AB. So we have to find voltage VAB and the resistance at this terminal. Now the voltage here will be the voltage across 40 ohm resistance and the voltage across 20 ohm resistance. So let's see. Uh, we can draw the circuit in a little bit uh, separating the two loops. So we separate this and now you can see that this is an independent loop and this is also an independent loop. They do not interfere into each other. So the voltage across uh, 40 ohm resistance uh, we can find by taking a current I1 and then marking the polarity we call it um, V1 and now by voltage deviation rule you can find the voltage total voltage divided by total resistance multiplied by the resistance across which we are going to find so this is 32 volts now let's go to the second loop so this is the current I2 flowing and because of this there will be positive sign here and negative sign here and this voltage we call V2. V2 could be found directly from I into R. So V2 is 3 ampere multiplied by 20 ohms is 60 volts. So now uh, we can easily find V thevenin. If you look at the circuit by simple KVL method we can find V thevenin. So by KVL minus V1 so minus V1 then minus V2 so minus V2 and plus V thevenin plus V thevenin equals 0 and from here you can find V thevenin to be 92 volt. Now we need to find R thevenin again we put the sources as 0 so the current source has been opened and the voltage source is shorted. So this is the equivalent circuit. Again we are looking from this direction. So these two are in parallel along with 20 ohms in series. So R thevenin is 10 parallel 40 plus 20 and this gives you 28 ohms. So the equivalent circuit now can be drawn as the 92 volt series with 28 ohm resistance. Another example, in this example we need to find the output voltage VO by Thevenin's method and we can here also use the source transformation technique. So we transform these two into current source and parallel resistance and then by adding or subtracting the two sources depending on the direction. Uh, we can find the total current. So let's see. So this is the first step. We convert this into a uh, current source and a resistance in parallel. So 15 divided by 3 kilo gives 5 milliampere direction up, 3 kilo in parallel and these are the remaining existing circuits like this. Now we can see that in any of the resistance the current from this is going from top to bottom but the current because of the 2 ampere is going from bottom to top that means they are in opposite direction so we'll take uh, the net of the two so the net current will be 5 minus 2 3 amperes going up so we draw the current source 3 ampere going up and we also solve 3 and 6 in parallel that makes uh, 2 kilo in parallel and now we can again convert this into uh, voltage source. So converting these two into a voltage source and the resistance is series and remaining two resistances there. Now you can see that since this is open circuit no current is flowing 
so whatever is the voltage here same will be the voltage here same will be the voltage here that means v not will be 6 volt but r thevenin will be by shorting this we get add all the three resistances so v thevenin is 6 volt and for r thevenin we shorten the voltage source and this is r thevenin sum of all three resistances so this is our thevenin circuit